40 years old. And he was the mayor of the Upper West Side. People just used to be so impressed with him. He was so outgoing. He was so aware. He used to go around the house and kind of collect the change. We used to call it stealing, but collecting time. <laughs> <laughs> and he put it in his bag like he wouldn't know it was going. One day, he decided he wanted to go out and buy a Matchbox car or a action figure. And he took all his change and put it in his Ziploc bag. Now he took that bag, and he and his parents were going down and down the subway, and there was a man there playing music. And that man brought my son in. He drew, drew him in, I'm sorry. And he, Jack wanted to give him his change. And my ex-husband said, you want to give him some change? Sure. So he walked over. He took the whole bag of change in the man's guitar case. Now, Jack's dad said, you know, Jack, you gave him all the change. You can't take it back. And he said, yeah, I know. I want to give it to him. And that little boy, in that little minute, showed us all the giving nature of a three-year-old. Some make three-year-olds, not all. <laughs> and him only for that one minute. <laughs> and he inspired me with that action, that purity, he inspired and he changed that musician's life by that one action. And I am, obviously, I tried to keep the secret, but that was my son. Um, too bad I gave him the punchline. So with that, I hope that I am able to be an inspiration to my son. Because through him and my older son, I strive to prove that I'm worthy and I want to help people and make them feel that they are better people because they are my children. Sorry. So anyway, I created Make It Happen. And I created Make It Happen a little first. How many of you guys watch the TV commercials or see the pictures on Instagram and say, you know, and you see the stories about the Syrian refugees and you say, gosh, I, 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 need, to, I need to do this. I need, I need to help. I need to do something. How many? Any of them? None? <laughs> Not that many. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, I will speak to the people that don't know. But when, then there's those people that, like, I want to make a difference, but I don't know how. And that's where Make It Happen comes in. And Make It Happen is here to educate the public on issues that are important to educate people on the who, the what, the why, the where, the how of making change occur. So, inspirationally, obviously my children, my mother was also a great inspiration to me. She was always a very giving person. She was always, she taught me that we need to live life thinking about others. Our lives will be better because of it. And so, with that, I took that to create and make it happen. After many years of volunteering and trying to figure out, but not feeling like I was making a real difference, I decided, okay, I'm going to commit my life to this. I'm going to commit my business to this. So Make It Happen goes about creating campaigns for issues that we pr produce content that goes across many different platforms. And with all those platforms, we do make sure that the message is the same, but the content is unique. And with each of these campaigns, we hope to reach as many, uh, as many people as possible based on their choice of technology. Now, the, to give you an example, this is my case. I'm going to skip to the challenge part. The challenge part is overcoming my own fears. Um, to give you an example of what a campaign by Make It Happen would look like is we have a cause. The cause is our client. This time it's human trafficking. We work with a director of a film who's about to show as at Sundance, about to premiere there, 
about human trafficking. So we create or we have a video component. Then we use experts in the field to create a speaker series that works in conjunction with this film premiere. And that allows people to go see the movie and be educated even further in the topic matter. So that when they leave, they feel like they know what they're talking about. They feel like they are invested in the issue. And we'll take that same component, the film and the speaker series, to other areas, maybe during the UN General Assembly here in New York, or Davos, to the World Economic Summit, or even to Philadelphia, working with one of the human trafficking organizations that are based there. In addition to this, we will create social media, the Holy Grail social media campaign. <laughs> That's the other challenge I have. Um, the Holy Grail of social media, and we will find the influencers on the area to push the message of this campaign, of this outreach. And by doing that, we will bring in a larger amount of knowledge to people. Now, I was going to say it in foreign language. <laughs> That's why it didn't come. <laughs> but it was a situation where I feel the importance of knowledge is the only way that we will make change. What it is and what makes make it happen unique and important is we want people to invest in knowing about the cause. Why? Of these things happening. Because you can't change the world without knowing why it's happening in the first place. So, with that, I will bring up my questions. I'm finally getting through this. I'm almost done. I'm so excited! <laughs> but what do we really know about anything? What do we really know about these issues that are important to the world? Well, we just know what's put in front of us. But we don't really know anything. Thank <laughs> you.